back with another video. <laughs> Day 16. Guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to make an apple pie. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna show y'all how to make the apple pie, but I'm not gonna tell y'all the ingredients that I put in the apple pie because y'all already know that would not be fair to myself because y'all know I run an apple pie business. So I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna make the apple pie. And yeah, so. safe but I don't have a cutting board so I'm going to take my apple slicer and cut that cord out of there. Whoa! And then sometimes, I don't know if you can see this, sometimes like a little part from the core still be on there. Cut that off. Cut that out. We're ready. I'm practicing my ways now. So I'm gonna make this apple pie with some vegan butter. And I always use this butter. Um, it's basically pretty much, oh my gosh. 
It's pretty much nothing more than vegetable oil. And then they put a little bit of um, soy in it and flour and more soy and flour. I put about, I really don't measure it. And then I'm gonna put the rest of my recipes. Y'all know, use some sugar, baby. Use some sugar. And I'm gonna leave that out. Just let that simmer for I've tasted my apple pie filling and it tastes marvelous. It doesn't take long to cook. It took about a good 10 minutes to cook down and I didn't cook it all the way down because I'm about to bake it. I will pour it in the... Oh, yeah. And that is still a lot of but it's okay is it okay but is it though it is it's really okay so usually when you buy pie crust they come in twos um so what i'm about to do with this one i'm gonna just flip this over on top of the one that i put in the filling already And I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I felt like one apple pie just wasn't enough. So I ran and got some cookies. Um, so I'm gonna put these in the pan really quick, bake them, and then I got about three packs over here, so we should be good. So first off, we have some white chocolate macadamia nut. Felt like that would be a really cool flavor to try. I'm gonna take some oil. I know I got this aluminum foil over my um pan already but i really don't want this to stick so Another pan. I do. All right, so it's been about a good five to ten minutes that this has been sitting over so I'm just going to show you how I do my pie crust so yes this is store-bought I literally just lift you don't have to cave in if the filling is already hot it's going to melt down the topping so there's really no need to do too much with it. Yeah. 
and there you have it a whole filling like I did this one so perfect I don't feel the need to press it down but I'm gonna press it down just a little bit here just to make sure that when it while it does cook and everything it's cooking correctly And then I'm going to take some sugar here and just sweep it all around. Because this, the high crust, it, oh, right, is really um, thin. And then I do kind of usually like to sprinkle, even though you won't be able to see it, I like to sprinkle some cinnamon because you never know. Those little cinnamon spots will hit the spot. And once your pie crust is done, go ahead and sweep underneath to get all of that extra off. And you can just stick this little baby in the oven for about 15 minutes. Here are the macadamia cookies. I'm about to take these her and put them her. Oatmeal cookies, and they really don't look all that edible. 